It's very chilly. It's very grey. It's very misty. To the left here, I can't do the complicated three, two, one, but thanks to Ted Rogers. And welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to another Saturday edition of your favourite game show of three, two, one. And uh, Dusty Bin and the three, two, one game show. These old crunky trains are. But as of this week, last week, something new and shiny from Bombardier is taking over. So this is the new class 720 from Bombardier. It's the uh, Aventra uh, family of trains, of which there's a few variants. We'll talk about those in a moment, but this is, oh, we're leaving there. This is the Greater Anglia variant out on the South End Victoria line. We will be calling at Pockley, Rayleigh, Wickford, Billericay, Shenfield, Romford, Stratford and London Liverpool Street. That is a very clear and concise PA. There's no way that you weren't going to hear that. So, old trains are the three, two, ones. New trains from Bombardier, the Aventura family of trains. I'll do a little diagram in a minute. The next stop will be Hockley. They might be familiar to you, but what's fascinating about this is that they're walk-through carriages with regular style seatings, i.e. The, the London Overground and Crossroads uh, style trains have got the seats either side. Every train is brand new with state-of-the-art features and modern as you would expect and very different to what our customers are used to travelling on on the South End line. There's an increased number of seats. Every train has 544 seats on a five-car train. The train was designed obviously pre-pandemic, so we were obviously um, catering to the needs of our customers and, and the request for increased number of seats on board, so we maximise the space. The temperature on the train is controlled by an air conditioning system and the um, system has been designed to operate throughout temperatures of minus 25 to 40 degrees. I've been invited to feel the floor. Why? What? what? You say it's warm. It's underfloor heating. There's underfloor heating. The only trains in the UK to have it. The, uh, hang the on, next stop sorry. will be Rochford. <laughs> the only trains in the UK to have underfloor heating. Yeah. Do any of the other ventures have underfloor heating, which is just the 720s? Well, certainly not the ones that have been built so far. So hang on, so when C2C get theirs, <laughs> they will they have underfloor heating as well? You'll have to ask them, are they? <laughs> well, it's just a nice smooth carpety feel with the underfloor heating. So I'm told that the seats are sort of this S-shaped ergonomically designed and have been approved for up to two and a half hours worth of uh, sitting comfortably. The 321s had first class, the 720s don't have first class. That's okay, in surveys that were done with passengers, passengers on this line actually said, and on other inner suburban greater Anglia routes, that they'd rather have more seats than have first class. So that was uh, feedback from passenger surveys themselves. So first class has been removed in favor of just having more standard class seats. And this is the point where you can magically walk through into the other area and it's level and that's what's weird. So I'm kind of used to it on the, on the overground trains, the 710s and on the crossrail trains, the 345s, but there the seating of course is to the side. Here the seating is in the classic sort of 3-2 arrangement. It's very strange. You used to have a 3-2 seated train that you can then walk through. As we approach Shenfield, it actually said change for the Elizabeth line. <laughs> Not yet, you can't. It's a little bit. It's a little bit early. <laughs> I'm really warm, by the way. These trucks. I don't know if it's the underfloor heating or maybe they're just better insulated. I'm. I, I can't take my jacket off because I've got a breakfast stain down my top. But I'm really warm, and I'm thinking on a cold, misty. It is misty December morning. I'm really, really warm. So. Mainly what I'm taking away is how nice and cosy and warm the trains are. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Welcome to this service for <laughs> London Liverpool Street. Yeah, that's nicely told. We will be calling at Romford, Stratford, and London Liverpool Street. Can confirm there's a loud PA inside the space saving toilet as well. I've come down to this area. Because we're in the bike area, which the old Next stop will be didn't have. Romford. And as per the instructions, you put your pedal in here, two of these. Change lights. for 
London Overground and Elizabeth Line. And then Strats. Yeah, nice. To go over and kick your bike in place. So, I spoke earlier about this being the Bombardier Aventra set of trains. Uh, in case you don't know what I mean, these have been used on Crossrail and on Overground. We're also going to CTC and to West Midlands as well as Greater Anglia. So, here's a quick diagram which I've drawn at home to talk about where these types of trains are being used. Do you know what? I'm sat at home editing and I've just got to the point where I realised that no point did I do the elbow test to see if there was a space where you could rest your elbow by the window. I completely forgot to do that on the 720 and I'm slightly aghast and disappointed with myself. I promise the next time I'm on one I'll, I'll take a picture and tweet it. Sorry. That was an hour trip that seemed to go very quickly, Matt. Liverpool Street. I'm going to walk to that end and get a shot of the train pulling out and just see how long it is compared to the 12 car train. It's very odd having a sort of a 3 by 2 with a little bit squashed in configuration on a Aventra style train. But the seats are really nice, it's really bright, the information's good. You've got the accessible area which the old train didn't have. The super huge toilet, that's really good. And it's warm as well. Really nice cosy warm train. But there's the new Bombardier. Class 720, rolling out now to Greater Anglia.